So now we've lifted the ribs on both sides. So when you come in and you ask for the belly lift, which is just a scratch right in the middle where the girth goes, that top line should come up. And in the yoga, you're supposed to go there and hold. So you lift, count to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and you scratch and you get a little bit more. You're supposed to do that times five until the whole back pops up. You're using the ribs to stretch out the tight muscles from the underside. Okay? Okay? And if you keep doing that, the back will be up to here. There's no reason for a horse to have that huge sunken back. These muscles are in spasm, it pulls the ribs out, and then a saddle tree pushing on an area as the horse's back dips even more. I like treeless saddles, that's just my personal. Okay, I'm still holding up him, him up in between. So, you keep holding him up, and you're lifting and stretching all this. You're also lifting large and small intestine, helping them to get dead stagnant energy, any debris in there, moving. Okay, so we ask for a little more. See the difference? I'm holding them up quite firmly with fingertips. When you ask, you're scratching with your fingernails, and when you hold, it's flat of fingertips. Counting to 10 in between each. Okay, so if this was done every day, this is where his back's gonna start to be, and his back will start to stay there. So that's releasing the ribs and all of these back muscles. How to get rid of your sore back horses is to fix them. There we go. That's a nice top line for, I think he's 18 this year. Okay, now we'll move on to the hind end.